Hi everybody, welcome back. Now, you may be asking yourself, why am I filming a two-way radio? What possible use has a two-way radio got inside or around the caravan? Or indeed a motorhome? Well, I'm going to go through some of the things that uh, these little radios can be very handy for. Let me show you exactly what you get in the box. And then we'll start this review of the uh, Baofang BF888S, which I purchased off of Amazon. And just to be completely clear, this is not a paid promotion. This is simply a review of something that I've bought. And I think you might find it useful. So this is the Baofang BF888S. I bought this from Amazon for $22.99. So in the box, the first thing you can see here is the user manual. It's written in English and it gives indications on how to use some of the features and uh, some of the functions. We've got two small bags here and they contain the earpieces. They come complete with an earbud and these have got microphones and earpieces so they can wrap around your ear. They plug into the side of the radio. I'll show that to you in a bit, but it means that you can use the radio discreetly without having to hold it up to your face. The radio's all come disassembled, so you'll need to screw on the antenna onto the radio itself. That's an easy job of just literally screwing it onto the top of the body. Now on the back of the radios, you've got a belt clip. These again don't come connected to the radios. You need to undo the two small screws here and then simply attach the belt clip onto the back of the radio. On top of that, there's a strap as well, which again, you need to attach to it yourself. Another point worth noting is the batteries don't come connected to the radios either. Uh, you need to plug those into the back of the radios, uh, like what I've done here. And finally, we come onto the desk chargers. They're a cradle configuration. They've got UK plug already hardwired onto the cable. And simply all you do is insert the radio into the cradle. Now, worryingly, with no power connected to it, you can see the LED is uh, lighting up in the cradle. So uh, there must be some uh, issue with the electronics in this cradle. But nonetheless, they do work and they do charge the radios up. So as you can see, you get quite a bit in the box. And, uh, you know, for $22.99, I don't think it's a particularly bad deal. So, OK, so this is the radio. This is what you get in the box. Why would you want one? Well, there's a couple of reasons why I think these would be useful around the caravan. And here's two prime examples. When I'm reversing the caravan up to the pitch, Instead of shouting out to Angela, where's the caravan in relation to the pitch, and Angela shouting back to me to stop and waving at me, she can calmly and very quietly and very discreetly just say, you're going too far, or you've reversed into the pillar, or you're miles off again. You know, there's a calm and collective way of talking back to your partner when you're reversing onto a pitch. Another prime example is doing the lights check when we're pulling away from here, the storage centre or on site. I can turn the lights on in the car and Angela can calmly tell me what lights that she is seeing. That way I know that all the lights are working. So if I put the left indicator on, instead of shouting out to Angela, left indicator and her saying yes, I could put the light on and Angela can say to me, left indicator. So it's a good way of doing that. It means you don't make a spectacle of yourself on the site. Oh, and of course, another good reason is the kids can use these to play around with on site. I'm sure you've already seen them already. And, uh, you know, I think it's a fantastic way. And if I need to get Chloe back, I can keep one of these here and she's can be out playing. And I can just say to her, it's dinner time. So, you know, they are useful. And for the cost that they are, I think it's something well worth to consider. OK, so let me show you around the radio. So to start with, on the top there, you've got two knobs. One of them is the power and the volume. Power on. Ten. Now you notice that she said power on and 10. The 10 relates to the channel number. Because these radios are on an open frequency, anybody can transmit on these frequencies. It's known as PMR. They've separated up that frequency block into 16 channels and you can choose one of 16 channels on this little radio. So if you want to talk to somebody, you've got to make sure they're on the same frequency. The good thing about this is that if you want to talk to more people, you just buy more of the radios and then you all agree what channels everybody is going to be on. So one. So let me turn that down to number one. And as you can see, you just turn the channel. Two, three, four. And you may pick up somebody else. Broadsword calling Danny boy. Over. Broadsword calling Danny boy. Broadsword calling Danny boy. Over. Broadsword, this is Danny boy. Broadsword, this is Danny boy. What's your current location? Over. Woods due west of Castle. Well, that's pretty cryptic. Uh, listen, I just want to know, what time are you and Harrod going to pop on over? Descending at dusk. Harrod dead. Well, that's disappointing. I was going to have a nice old chat with him this evening. Oh, well. Um, listen, whilst you're on the blower, uh, you don't know what time Andrew Ditton's next live broadcast is, do you? No. Time of next broadcast uncertain. 
Will you stand by? No, I'm not going to stand by. I'm, I'm filming here. I'll speak to you later. Take care now. Bye-bye. Sorry about that. Uh, where was I? Ah, yes. So, 16 channels. Choose the channel you want to select on. Make sure you're not interfering with anybody else. And off you go. So, down the side of the radio, you've got a press to talk, PTT. You've got a squelch button. If you're slightly out of range of somebody, you can press that button and uh, it reduces the squelch level and you get a lot of noise, etc. Button beneath that is a function light. And really all it does is it just switches on the uh, torch on the top there, as you can see. In truth, it's pretty rubbish. It's just a bit of a gimmick, to be honest with you. On this side of the radio, you can see we've got a socket here for the headset, which allows you to put a microphone and an earpiece in, so you don't need to talk to this all the time. And uh, that's it. A very handy little radio, as you can see. Battery life? Well, I haven't been able to flatter them yet, but then I haven't used them extensively. Uh, so, you know, it, they're pretty good, I think you find. The chargers which come with them are mains powered, and that's the biggest problem I have with this radio set. At the moment, I can't seem to find a 12 volt charger. So if you are off grid, be wary that once these are flat, you may not have another charger. But there we go, that's my review of the Baofeng BF888S. It rolls off the tongue nicely, doesn't it? Uh, nice little radio. I would recommend these. They're pretty reliable. Um, well built, nice and light as well. Ideal for the little kiddie winks if they want to run around and pretend they're um, a part of Who Dares Wins. So there we go. I hope that's been no useful for you today. Any questions or any comments, feel free to put them down below. I'm going to go and have myself a cup of tea now and uh, try and find out where uh, Broadsword is. It's probably hiding in the woods, right? By the castle, I think he said. Anyway, speak to you soon, guys. Take care now. Bye bye. Danny boy, broadsword calling Danny boy.